back to another video. I haven't done a sit down video and spoke to you for quite a while, um, but I've ordered lots from Magfi over the past few weeks. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know because I do the unboxing on my stories. But I thought if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know. So I might as well do a YouTube video as well and show you things more in depth. So I've had to put a filter on this video, by the way, because I am really burnt and the amount of redness on me right now is quite embarrassing. <laughs> So I thought, what can I do to hide the redness? Filter. Anyway, so I don't know if you can see. No, you can't. But there's a lot, a lot in this box. So I'm going to switch you around and put it all on the desk for you to see what I've got. But there's a lot of glitters, a lot of crystals, a lot of tapes, some swatch sticks, some foils, some striping tape, like there is all sorts and some shapes as well obviously it's all from magpie um i'll be doing another just thinking what it'll be i'll be doing another haul um of unrelated to magpie because obviously i understand that not everyone uses it and it's not really exciting to everybody if you don't use it so i have got a clear jelly stamper delivery coming on tuesday and i've got a lot of stamping plates coming from ebay because i know that not everyone wants to spend a fortune on them so i'm going to do a video with the cheaper ones because they're still just as good in some cases. So I've ordered 20 <laughs> um, Born Pretty ones. So I'm waiting for those to come. I think it's going to be around a week. So hopefully they'll come at around the same time as Clear Jelly Stamper. And then I've got a couple of organisational things as well. So I'll be doing a big organisation video eventually. Um, I am going to put in the end of this video organising these things into my drawers and stuff like that. But then when everything comes for me to put things on, I'll do one big video at the end. So you can see the whole thing let's get into it okay so i've had to zoom out quite a lot because there is a lot here um i've also had to shut the blind because it was just creating too much shadow so I just want to get the little bits out of the way and then we'll go through all the glitters separately so i got these um one of them is holographic and one isn't so they are different hopefully you can see that one is more I actually can't remember the name of this one it might be iridescent because i don't know if you can tell but when it moves it slightly changes color and then this one is obviously holographic and it's just really really shiny so i've got those two and then i've got all four of the tapes the iridescent tapes i'll just pick them all up so they are absolutely stunning and the backs of these are apparent i've not used them yet they're brand new but apparently the backs of them are really really sticky so obviously i'm assuming you can cut them up and use them exactly how you like i think this one's my favorite i absolutely love the colors in that it's pink purple and like a bluey aqua color and then this one is like quite a darker blue this one is like a rosy pinky goldy kind of thing and then this one is like an orangey red gold so they are absolutely stunning i can't wait to try those out and see how they look because they just look amazing so then i'm going to show you the new releases of foils i have all the other foils i think i've showed that in another organization video but these are the new ones they only came out what day is it today friday i think it was last friday so I received these on Tuesday after the bank holiday and they are absolutely stunning. This one is called Ivy B and it's multicoloured with these nice chunky cut designs. This is Sue Helen. She is a stunning purple and she's got, I don't know if you can see, yeah, little dots as well. So it's not just a flat foil, which I love. I love the textured foils. I love the flat ones as well, but, you know, it's nice to mix it up a little bit. This one is my absolute favourite. This is Clara Bell, and she is like a teal colour, but she reflects a couple of different colours. I absolutely love this one. This is like one of my favorite colors purple is my absolute favorite but that is definitely a close second and then this one is kirsty lee and she is a pink like a nice rosy pink i really like this one actually and i think this is going to be a good one because it will match quite a lot so i'm happy with that one so they're the four new foils that they've just bought out unfortunately i have got the collection um of once upon a time collection from the glitters in here 
but I actually don't know which are which because when they send you them they don't pack them as collections and obviously I've unpacked them anyway so I don't actually know the difference and stuff so I'm just going to show you all of them and obviously you can see which ones come from there by looking at the website so I also bought some of these because as you all know I well if you've watched any of my previous videos you'll know that I bought all of the chromes pigments and dusts from that magpie sell I think there's 50 something so I've bought these tiered um swatch sticks from magpie I think they're a perfect idea because I'm going to do like black white and then a color close to whatever color the dust is or chrome that i'm going to use on here so so i can do black white and a color all on the same swatch stick for clients to be able to see the difference between them because i do like doing them on black but not all of the dusts are made to go on black so i think it's nice to have them all on different colors so i bought two packs of those so i need to get going with that but if you don't know me well enough already, I hate swatching. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. So I'm putting it off, to be honest, because there's just so much here that I need to swatch. It is just getting ridiculous. And I keep buying more before I've done the swatches of stuff that I've just bought. So I'm shooting myself in the foot, really. But this is going to be my last Magpie haul if, um, like while I'm still closed. Because, to be honest, I have spent a lot of money rebranding to magpie and obviously i'm not working so i'm not i don't have an income at all so i feel like the stuff that i haven't got now which is not really a lot to be honest is not necessity for a while i'm not working um so i am putting a hold on it for now and then the last few bits that i haven't got i will be able to get when i'm working again so i'm not too worried so the next thing I bought, I don't remember whether I've put these in any of my videos or not because I don't think I have. So I thought I'd do it in this one, but I've bought, I think there's one, I think it's the Crystal AB ones that I'm missing because they're out of stock. So I have got my notifications turned on for those, but I bought all of the other crystals and they're absolutely stunning. They're in these cute little bottles, so they match everything else and they're just so, so nice. So they've got golden honey let's put them down <laughs> so they've got golden honey i don't know if you can see what color they are but they are so lovely and then they've got aqua marine which are like a bluey well they are blue <laughs> i don't know why i even tried to like continue that sentence but and then they've got rose which are of course a rosy color let's put, oh god let's put them down as i go through them and then we've got crystal, which obviously just your crystal colour, like a silver, clear. And then light rose, which are basically rose, but lighter. <laughs> white opal, which are, of course, white <laughs> opalescent. So they are absolutely stunning. And then we've got two more. This is vintage rose, which are like a rose gold type of colour. And then we've got rose gold, which are, of course, rose gold. So they are absolutely lovely. I've got eight of those so far, but obviously, like I said, I haven't got one of them because they're out of stock. So next, I'm going to go on to shapes. I don't have a lot of shapes, to be fair, because they are one of the things that I don't currently use. Um, like within my business so i did say to myself that i originally wasn't going i shot myself in the foot really because i've ended up with all this anyway but i told myself in the first place that i wouldn't be buying all of the glitters and shapes and stuff like that and then obviously i've got majority of them now so i would have been much better off just buying them all like the whole glitter full set as a bundle because that comes with all the crowns and dust and everything anyway as a discount but i've bought it all individually now because I obviously underestimated how little self-control I have when I first bought my first big order. But never mind, it's fine. So this is Dolly Mix. And it's got all sorts in it. So there's little stars, there's circles, like big, small, medium. There's love hearts, there's triangles. What else? There's bigger, oh, there's bigger stars. There's literally all sorts in there. I don't think there's anything in there that... I've not said, but probably because I can't see everything. But yeah, so they're iridescent. So obviously you can place them on top of absolutely anything. So they're very versatile. And then we've got hearts. I'm missing. I'm missing one. Oh, there's one there, but that's not the one I'm missing. So I bought 
two lots of stars in two different colours. It's just too much in this box. Oh, there they are. Okay, so I bought two... Oh, God. We'll do these first. So I bought three lots of hearts. So we've got the pink hollow ones, which are obviously hollow pink, and they're absolutely amazing. And then I bought the orange ones, which are more of like a corally colour. They look really pink on camera, but they are more of an orange coral. And then I bought the white ones. So they're really, really cute. And then I got two lots of the stars. So I got these ones. I'm pretty sure these are called Beth, which is why I bought them, because obviously that's my name. So <laughs> I was being a bit, a bit childish there, but never mind. So I got the greeny ones and the pink ones. They're absolutely amazing. I can't wait to use them because they're holographic, so they reflect light. Anyway, so I've done all that. So I'm now just going to do the last thing that's not glitter, and that is the new coloured leaf. So I've already got the other colours, but they also, in the new releases, they bought out the Once Upon a Time Glitter Collection, which is a collection of six, and then they bought out five coloured leaves, and obviously the four foils I've already showed you, but these are the coloured leaf colours, and they're absolutely stunning. So we've got like a, an electric blue colour, which is so nice, a nice pink, a purple, a very light lilac colour, and then green so basically these plus the colors that they already do you've basically got every color that you'd need um obviously you can get different shades of colors and stuff like that but you've got all of the main colors now um so you're pretty good to go so i'm going to get all of these onto the table and then i'll come back and we'll talk about the glitters closer okay so i've set them out a bit better now so it's easier for us to see them and me to pick them up easier without getting mixed up with which ones i've done and which ones i haven't so when i've picked them up and spoke about them i'm going to put them to one side so i don't end up picking up the same ones over and over again so i bought quite a few different collections um i'm not going to go through them all because to be honest i'll probably leave one out and i don't know which glitters came out of which collection so it'd be a bit pointless mentioning those um <clears throat> so i'm literally just going to pick up a glitter and just show you it so this one is called Sophie. It's hard to see her name because of the way the light is reflecting. But she is a multicoloured glitter. So I absolutely love these. I don't know if you can see that because my phone's been a bit of a bugger. There we go. So she is a multicoloured fine glitter. She's not an ultra fine. Um, I do have a couple in here of the ultra fine ones. But she's just, I think, just fine. Might even be a medium. I don't even know. But to me... This is pretty fine. So that's Sophie. She's absolutely stunning. I'm not going to keep saying that about all of them because I just I love all of them. <clears throat> so we'll be here a long time if we just keep calling them all the same name. So this is Bianca. Um, so she's an iridescent and there's different sizes in this one. So I'd say it's a mix. Um, it's absolutely amazing. Like I just I find it really difficult to sit here and not talk nice things about <coughs> about the glitters because they're just so nice <laughs> and then we've got Heidi which is like a lilac colour and she's also a mixture of different sized glitters and then we've got <coughs> Robin which is I think just a chunky I can't see any smaller bits in there but I'm not 100% so don't hold me to it but obviously if you look for these on the website they do tell you in the description what size glitter they are so I am going to show you three of the same sorts at the same time because I know that they come in a set together because they are different to the rest. I'm not sure whether I got them all actually by looking at it. One of them might have been out of stock. So basically these are like basically they're shards like that's the best way to explain them I find is they are not a chunky glitter or anything like that they are literally pieces of cut up glitter um so they're all different shapes and sizes like different everything they're so nice so that one is rachel and she is silver this one is sandy and she is a nice gold color this is the type of gold that i like i hate really yellow gold like that's just i don't know it's just not very really me <laughs> So then next we've got Charlotte, which is also a very nice colour. I'd say she's gold, but she's a little bit 
I don't know, maybe rose goldy, champagne gold. I have no idea, to be honest. I'm not really a gold person, so I, can't, I find it quite difficult to describe golds, but she's quite chunky as well. And then we've got Juno, which is a nice fine glitter. Some of these came in collections and some didn't. I did buy some separately. Um, so I don't really want to say which collections are from and stuff like that because I'm not 100% sure which ones I bought in collections and which ones I didn't. So I will just show you them. And then if you go onto the website and type in the name of the glitter that you like from having a look at it on here, if you just type the name in without clicking on the name, it will, if it's in a collection, in the drop down, when you start typing it in, it will bring up the collection that it's in. And then obviously you'll know what comes with it and you'll be able to figure out whether you want to buy it on its own or with the ones that come in the collection with it. This is Alison and she is also obviously stunning because they all are. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So I'll try and show you all of the names in it. Hopefully using the line of light I'll be able to do that. Just because I don't want to talk for every single one and you'll be here all day. <laughs> so I'm going to speed it up from now. Okay, so that's it for basically showing you what I got. I'm just going to do a quick organisation video now because obviously all those new things that I've bought, I need to put away. So I am going to speed this up. Um, I'm probably going to do it as a, um, a time lapse because the glitters are going to take me quite a little while and I don't want this video to end up like 45 minutes long. So I'll put it on a time lapse um, so you can see what I'm doing. But it will be a little bit quicker so yeah i'm gonna i'll probably just voice over the time lapse bit instead of making it a bit confusing that is just why is there a green over there <laughs> oh okay i've run out of space makes sense so that's the foils and everything else done so i'm now going to time lapse doing the glitter drawer because as you can see it's looking quite empty and now I need to fit in all of those new glitters and everything else so yeah I'm gonna get straight into it
Okay, so I finished with the glitters. I was a bit annoyed about the yellows having to go separate, but it's fine. It's fine. They're still pretty close, so it works okay. So I'm just going to pop these up here. So this drawer here is the stickers. Um, haven't really got many of those at the moment, but stickers, all the foils, the tape, and then just anything like bits and bobs related. And then in here, obviously, I've just finished all of the glitters. And then I've got all the crystals here, all of the shapes here, and all of the coloured leaf up there. Just popped some swatches there. I still need to sort out all of this drawer. Um, gel paints, inkies, give me strength and all the gel colours. But I'm waiting for organisation for those to arrive. And then in here, we've got all of the dusts pigments and chromes i've put the tapes in here some iridescent dusts here forms all of the acrylics and i forgot about this actually angel face came back in stock i had it on back order because i didn't have it in stock when i ordered the whole collection so they sent me that and also they did the same with popstar let me open it first Okay, so Popstar is just a really, really nice, bright pink, shiny colour. It's really hard to capture it with one hand. I'm doing a really bad job. But anyway, so that was on back order as well because it wasn't in stock when I ordered the full gel colour collection. But they sent me that, so amazing. Thank you to them. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got up to so far. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back soon with another haul video from different places. So thank you for watching. Bye.